Story Number Seventy Five: Four Boys in Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar takes all the best educated Israelites away to Babylon. Afterward, the king chooses from among them the most handsome and the smartest young men. Four of these are the boys you see here. One is Daniel, and the other three Babylonians called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Nebuchadnezzar plans to train the young men to serve in his palace. After three years of training. He will choose only the smartest ones to help him to solve problems. The king wants the boys to be strong and healthy while they are being trained. So he gives orders that his servants should give all of them the same rich food and wine that that he and his family receive. Look at young Daniel. Do you know what he is saying to Nebuchadnezzar's chief servant Ashpenaz? Daniel is telling him that he does not want to eat the rich things from the king's table, but Ashpenaz is worried. The king has decided what you are to eat and drink. He says, and if you don't look as healthy as the other young men, he may kill me. So Daniel goes to the guardian that Ashpenaz has put in charge of him and his three friends. Please put us to the test for ten days. He says, "Give us some vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare us with the other young men who are eating the king's food and see who looks better." The guardian agrees to do this, and when the ten days are up, Daniel and his three friends look healthier than all the other young men. So the guardian. Let them continue to eat vegetables instead of what the king provides. At the end of three years, all the young men are taken to Nebuchadnezzar. After talking to them all, the king finds Daniel and his three friends to be the smartest ones, so he gives them to help him in the palace. And whenever the king asks Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach. And a bad nigger questions or gives them hard problems. They know ten times as much as any of his priests or wise men.